I never um, anticipated ending up in software at all, actually. I went into university looking for a degree in English literature and uh, found myself in computer science, actually. So. <laughs> I actually went to a liberal arts college in New York State and I ended up doing geology and environmental geography and from there I just kind of actually grew to like it more and more and then I just took GIS. And it turns out that GIS is actually one of the more uh, practical applications of a geography degree so I did a BCIT course. SAFE actually has quite a few people working here from that program and so Later on in my life, when I was looking for a new opportunity, SAFE came up and I was like, Ooh, kind of nervous because there's so many formats here that I've never dealt with before, but um, it just kind of seemed like a natural choice and now I know a lot more about everything, not just GIS, just crazy stuff that I never thought I'd listen. Like, the fact that I even know who Docker is really impresses me. I know, right? <laughs> like, my, uh, like, I have a few web developer friends, like, you know what Docker is? That's amazing. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't, okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Like, I've heard of it. I don't know how to use it, but I know what it is. So It is overwhelming coming in. Like, when I started here as a co-op uh, in 2009, I didn't, it took me months to understand even what FME did. Mm -hmm. And, like, probably at least a year to be able to explain it to other people. And I think, if people just realize going into a tech job that you're not going to understand it right away and you will eventually learn like through working, then it, it'll be less intimidating, I think. I still find that sometimes. Like my friends, don't, I find it very difficult to explain what I do. I guess I didn't see myself working in a software company either. Um, I started off in earth sciences I wanted to do. Uh, then I switched over to environmental sciences, so kind of in the same vein. Like Annabelle, I went to BCIT and then Safe scooped me up. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, I'm happy I'm at a software company now because looking back, it's like this is more in tune with what I wanted to do. I started in health sciences and then I was interested in GIS. and. But by the time I realized that software company may be appealing, it was like, oh, it's too late because I can't become a developer now. And of course, it makes sense that they would need, say, technical support or sales or um, knowledge or education side of it, but I didn't consider that initially. So I also did school at BCIT where they like to teach you a little bit about everything, and then that's how I found out about SAFE, and I'm glad I did, and <laughs> can be part of a software company without um, developer background. Yeah. Through going to university, I also found um, remote sensing, imagery. I thought I love the application of imagery and um, doing analysis of our world and things like that. And um, yeah, and just sort of grew organically <laughs> into a um, software company. I didn't expect to be at a software company. I went to a university for education, so I wanted to be a teacher. And I took the four years course I was in Japan. And uh, some reasons I decided to apply the computer IT companies that's in Japan, Tokyo. And uh, since then, for 25 years, I'm an IT company. I'm not different from everybody, because I'm more business um, set side. But uh, I'm always enjoying to be in this you know, safe software, working with very friendly people. Yeah. It's a good place to work, for sure. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun. I still, I maintain that software jobs are among the most fun work environments. Like the culture, <laughs> they are, and yeah, there's so much fun. I find that really interesting how many of us um, never intended to go into computers, because I was the same. I went to university for psychology, and then I was like you. I was like, oh, I, a computer science course, I guess I'll take it. And I was like, oh, this is awesome. So I like completely veered off. Um, but I think that kind of points to something wrong with like like high school and elementary school education. Like, why are more kids not aware of that? Mm -hmm. Like, we were all surprised later, like, oh, computers is fun. Mm -hmm. Like, this should be yeah. happening way sooner. Well, I think it's challenging, though, because I think there was a study recently that showed that girls by the age of, not very old, like five or six, they had already crossed off that they uh, consider in certain positions because of them being girls. It's not cool to be, like, into programming, yeah. I guess, when you're a kid. I don't know, maybe things are different now. Uh, but I, I, like, I was changing. into math when I was young, yeah. and I was, they were like, oh, well, like, you like math, like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's only when I, I went to an all-girls school until, like, grade 8, and 
then I actually didn't even think about like the whole math thing or like computers until I went to a co-ed school. I think from an early age, women tend to, or I guess girls, tend to shy away from computers and everything like that because it's like the boy mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, so. that's unfortunate because it totally is not. Um, in university, when I started studying computers, I really noticed that I was like the only girl in the vicinity. Mm -hmm. But then after a while, like you don't notice anymore. And like here, especially when it is so balanced, then it doesn't mm -hmm. really occur to me on a daily basis that there are fewer women in tech. I have a little girl and I'm hoping that her seeing me in this field mm -hmm. will realize yeah, that's normal. Like that's, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. people do this. <laughs> yeah, I think mm -hmm. exposure is a big thing. Like for me, yes. like my experience, like I'd never seen computers. I never knew what programming was. So it's not something I even thought about. No. It's so like seeing that more often when I was younger maybe could have influenced me a little bit differently. Mm -hmm.